Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Tara Gay Nicole here. How are you guys doing? I hope you are well. I am doing well. Um, I am here today to share with you my month of February's meal plan. This is the first time I've planned a whole month of meal planning. So you got to bear with me. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know. I'm hoping I get better at this over time because I do think I want to continue doing a month of meal plan. Um, and February is frugal February, so it is necessity. It's a necessity to get it done. So what I wanted to share with you how I started because it seemed like a daunting task. I'm like, how am I going to figure out a whole month of meals sitting down? But people can do it. So what I did was I watched a few YouTube videos, watched how they were doing it, and I was like, if they can do it, then I can do it. And if I can do it, y'all, you can do it. So my first thing to do was to sit down and plan out what days I wanted what. That was the easiest way and the best suggestion I got from other people was to like choose a type of food on a certain day. For example, what I'm saying is like my Sunday would be my Jamaican food day. Then Monday I would do leftovers. Tuesday would be like my Mexican day, like Taco Tuesdays and Wednesdays would be leftovers. Thursday is going to be like my one pot, one pot meal slash like sheet, one pack, one sheet pan meal. And then Friday and Saturday are going to be like Freestyle Friday and Saturday. Freestyle Friday will be either leftovers from Thursday and Saturday will probably be something frozen like um, pizza or some kind of Bertoli, something that I don't have to think about too much because those are the days I know I don't really want to do anything. And then Saturday would also be my like prep for Sunday's bigger traditional type of dinner. So that's what I came up with. If you come up with any other ideas like Italian and things like that, definitely do what you like to eat. But I like most of that food. So, yeah, and I'll hopefully over the months I'll be able to switch it up and get better at it and figure out like what I can use in one meal and the next meal. So then the next thing I thought to do was now think of things that you actually like to eat. So obviously search your memory of foods that you know are easy to make, that you actually like, that you want to cook, that aren't gonna that are gonna that are gonna fit into your schedule that you have time for. Um, then if you can't think of anything else to fill out the month, then go to your cookbooks. If you have cookbooks, check them out. This is also a good way to actually, I've noticed, to sort through what cookbooks you actually like still or even need. Because I was looking through a couple of my cookbooks and I was like, I don't like anything in here. It's ridiculous. I don't even know why I still have this cookbook. There's like two things that I would probably make and I could just photocopy or rip those pages out. So that was, um, nice. And then... You can also just go straight to your, go to Pinterest, which I'm loving the best right now because it's a lot of different stuff on there and you can be very specific. Like for my one pot meal days and Jamaican food days, it's easy to just go and find exactly what I want and pin the stuff that I need and then know I can um, go back to that resource when it's time to go grocery shopping. So that was great. And then last but not least, I figured just head on over to your pantry in your kitchen. See what's there. See what sparks ideas. If you have pasta in there, then try to figure out. And then just combine that with Pinterest. Like, okay, I have spaghetti. Go over and look what they have for spaghetti meals. If you have penne, if you have, I'm just looking at my thing, panko breadcrumbs. <laughs> breadcrumbs if you have, you know, leftover tortillas. And as I look over into my cabinet, that's what I see. So check out what you have. Because it's a frugal February, try to use what you have first. Check out what you have in your fridge and see what you can make with those meals and put them together. So, now I'm going to go into telling you guys what I actually um, put on my February, <laughs> my February monthly meal plan. That was pretty much my information to you. But if you're interested in getting some ideas of what I'm doing, you can continue watching the video. If not, thanks so much for watching, guys. So... I've decided that breakfast for me, because I'm not a big breakfast person and I'm probably going to be intermittent fasting because my doctor says I have to lose weight and I will come to you guys with another whole story about that. But um, granola bar or like granola cereal like Akashi with some lactate milk because I don't think me and dairy really get along. And then lunch and dinners are obviously I'm going to prep all my lunches I think. And then sometimes lunch will be dinner and then most times dinner will probably be salad because I'm trying to cut some of the meat out of my diet also. So I figured I'd just get those premium salad mixes that come in like, you know, the Caesar salad or some cherry almond something. You know, they always have those things. They're usually two for five. It's ShopRite or something like that. And I can usually get two servings out of one bag. So that's like almost a whole week for $5. 
that's my plan <laughs> and then so like first day of february is thursday the first thursday the first i'm thinking it's a pinterest meal and it's going to be tortellini with sweet potatoes and spinach and it's cheese tortellini so there's no meat in that which is good and it actually sounds like it's going to be great um number two, and then the next day which is friday will be leftovers or freestyle friday into saturday and the next day saturday will probably be a, a frozen pizza or something like that um, that Sunday, I'm planning to have chicken, rice, and cabbage. Probably stew chicken, rice, and cabbage. And I'm just actually going to go down the whole Sunday, Monday, because it might be easier that way. So Sunday the 4th is chicken, rice, and cabbage. Sunday 11th, I'm thinking jerk chicken, rice, and spinach. Unless I can find Kalaloo, which I haven't made before, but I think I really, I like to eat it, but I've never made it, so I'm interested in trying that. Um, the 18th, I'm thinking ackee and saltfish and fried dumplings or regular rolled, uh, boiled dumpling and maybe bananas. Not sure yet. Haven't made that either. So a lot of these things are going to be first time for me to make them, but I know I like to eat them. And if you guys are interested in me like doing some cooking videos as I go, make sure you leave the comments down below. And then, um, the, on the 25th, which is the last Sunday, is, I'm thinking of making oxtail, which I've never made before, white, um white rice and cabbage it's a lot of new things on there but i feel like the only way that i'm going to know is if i try and it's going to be fun it'll keep me busy because i can't go spending money this month so it's something to do and i like all those foods <laughs> so we'll see why can't i learn to make them i should know how to make them i'm jamaican so then of course mondays which are the 5th 12th 19th and 26th of the month those are going to be leftover days tuesdays are going to be taco tuesdays so the first one number six the sixth i'm thinking um taco boats with either ground turkey or ground beef the 13th i'm thinking of making just either cheese quesadilla or chicken quesadilla with maybe rotisserie chicken because it's really easy to make it that way um the 20th i'm thinking thinking ground chicken tacos or um oh same thing so tacos again and then the 27th i'm thinking of making maybe fish tacos and buying like a uh, mango type salsa from or making a mango type salsa from Trader Joe's but I'm just trying to think of the easiest thing for me to do and then Wednesdays are leftover days so that's 7th the 14th the 21st and the 28th Thursdays um a lot of these are going to be Pinterest meals because I'm just learning the one pot meal I used to just make chicken and rice as my one pot meal so on the first I already told you it's going to be the tortellini sweet potato and spinach on the 8th, I'm thinking pesto, salmon, and veggies in foil. I've done that before through HelloFresh, but I found a Pinterest one that I'll try. Actually, I might just pull out my HelloFresh one, too. And um, the 15th, there's a one-pot Cajun chicken and sausage Alfredo, which looks amazing. And then the 22nd, I'm thinking salmon with potatoes, green beans on a sheet pan. We'll see what happens. I don't remember if that is... I think that might have been actually another Pinterest. So, like, Thursday could have totally been Pinterest day as well. And then Fridays, and like I said, Friday and Saturdays are freestyle Fridays and Saturdays. So, it's either going to be leftover from Thursday, or if I feel like switching it up, I'll buy a couple um, freezer-type items to eat. Um, yeah, but that's it. And then at the bottom of my list here... I have all the grocery items, and I think this is actually for the entire month, all that I need. I'm going to try buying, I think, two weeks first, because I don't want anything to spoil. Two weeks first of what I want, and then cook things like that, and then um, buy the next two weeks, the next paycheck. So I will, of course, come to you guys with my haul. And I think there was more things in my cabinet now that I'm looking over at the pantry that I could have based those meals off of, but we'll see. We'll see. That's what I have in mind so far. Because I feel like, for me, um, a lot of those Pinterest meals that I've been trying, they're for like four to six people. And they last me more than one day of, le of leftovers. So, I'm actually maybe thinking about just doing one week's worth of grocery shopping at a time. I don't have kids. I don't have, you know what I mean? I, there's nothing that's stopping me except for laziness to do a weekly shopping. And it might save me money in this case because I don't, I probably won't even eat everything I cook. So maybe the first week, since the first week is only three days that first week, and the second, maybe I'll do from like the first to the 10th what I need. Um, but I'll come back and update you guys with that and what I decided to do. I hope that this uh, monthly 
uh, meal plan helps someone out there to get some ideas. And if you're interested, please try and do it. Leave a comment down below if this video is helpful. And a like. Please don't forget to like the videos. And subscribe if you like watching me. I'm not going to push that down anybody's throat. If you want to, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. Have a wonderful, blessed day. I am um, grateful for you guys.